Hello, welcome back to The Real McNeils. I'm going to show you my Costco haul. Clancy and I just went. We spent over 600. I will give you the definite total at the end of it. The Lego there, not from Costco. It's just that we're sharing the table with Addie today. This is the most disorganized Costco haul I have ever done. This is my favorite hair. <laughs> so I just want to show you through it. Sorry it's not organized this time. I just don't have time to set it all up and there's so much here that it would take a long time to set it up and we need to get them taken care of. Lots of frozen stuff and company coming over so we just want to take care of it as quick as possible. We are out of Ichiban and this is a favorite especially with Kieran and so we bought the big box. We often get this one for the kids. Kieran won't watch this so these are for Kieran for Christmas. He's wearing a youth size 18 right now and they're just not quite big enough. So I went with a small for him in hopes that they're bigger than what he has. We got some pizzas. Uh, last year the kids liked to bake up these pizzas and they would just bake them up the night before and take them cold for lunches and that just makes a super easy lunch for them. Two jugs of milk. Hopefully there's enough room in the freezer. Our favorite sausages that you've probably seen before. More dishwasher tabs because they were on sale. We don't need dishwasher tabs right now, but if we can stock up because we are going into a two week lockdown, we're not supposed to be going out nearly as much and they're trying to close down some stores. We have hot dogs. Olive oil was over $3 off, so I was able to get these two big jugs for just over $10. And if you, I don't know that I logged the last one when I was with my mom. But the marble cheese is five dollars off right now i have some in the freezer but you never pass it up when it's on sale when you have this many kids this is another thinking ahead to christmas we got the huge roll of christmas wrap and back when our family was small this roll used to last the two or three christmases but now we'll be lucky if this ginormous roll lasts for one christmas so stay tuned come back make sure you check out christmas vlogs because we'll see how much of this we use, and you'll get to see the, all the presents the same color under the Christmas tree. Lettuce is hard to find again, and we usually buy the big pack of romaine hearts from Costco, but we can't seem to get it. There's Addie in the background. But we do have spinach, so we're gonna go with spinach for now, just because we need something green and something salad-like. Moving on to frozen stuff. We got the big bag of strawberries because I use it often for making strawberry sauce. If you haven't seen those, I have a vlog that actually has strawberry sauce in the title. Best strawberry sauce ever for waffles and pancakes and things like that. I've been looking for peas. I had a hard time finding them today, but they were there and I'm just really glad to have peas again. We picked up some Italian sausage. I like to use them in making spaghetti sauce. It just adds flavor that ground beef doesn't. I also picked up chicken breasts. I like to be able to make pad CU, pad Thai, things like that. And so having chicken breasts is very helpful. These were $4 off and that also makes them a little more affordable. They were $24.27, so I got them for $20 instead. Two bunches of bananas and a big tube of ground pork. We use ground pork in our burgers. We found that the mixture of ground pork and ground beef makes a really delicious burger. It just kind of kicks it up a notch from just the ground beef burger that we used to make. It kind of started out way back when we found a recipe that told you to put bacon through the blender and add that into your ground beef. And that was fantastic but it's a little pricey and it's not very healthy. So we switched over to using ground pork and we use about half and half ground pork, ground beef, and it just changes the texture a little bit and it changes the flavor and it's so delicious. I've been craving green things, you'll be able to tell as the vlog goes on. So asparagus was one of the things that caught my eye. I bought the kids whole wheat bread. They may not be thrilled, but I decided that we're gonna do a couple weeks of whole wheat, not that those will last a couple of weeks. Oranges, lemons, Clancy's also thinking ahead to Christmas. He thinks of the food, I think of the presents. There's only one butter sitting here, but we got two salted butter and two unsalted butter. 60 eggs, because we tend to go through these in about a week. This is my lunch. We bought the Nature's Domain dog food for Coco. <coughs> Bailey felt like she did better on it, and so we switched back to this one. We were using Pedigree for a while. 
Coco has a really bad cough, and so we try to find things that help to alleviate the cough or help it not be as bad. Um, she just has some issues with her lungs, and Bailey feels like better quality food <coughs> seems to make a difference for Coco. We have lunch meat, which is typically one of the things that we grab when we're at Costco. The kids tend to like this pack the most. Tiggy especially likes the ham. And then this pack is the cheaper pack, so I always grab one of these because it's just a little more affordable than the other one. So this pack is about $10, and this pack is about $15, and they have almost the same amount in them. You can see that we have a Caesar salad, and I actually have three of these chicken taco kits. You can see them stacked up here. It's Friday night. Clancy usually tries to give me a break from cooking on Friday night, and it's usually pizza night, actually. We have Auntie Keely and Uncle Mike coming out, and we decided that this would make a great supper. We bought one for Clancy's dad a while back, and I just kept looking at it and thinking, I just wanna try that. So tonight we're gonna try it. A package of tomatoes, and as I said, I was craving green. So we have a good-sized bag of sugar snap peas, big bag of broccoli, and a big bag of celery. Tucked away here, we have some soft mozzarella. Clancy and Bailey really like this one, and she's supposed to be avoiding hard cheeses right now. Some grapes for the girls. These are one of the keto-friendly snacks that Bailey can have, so we picked up another package of these, and they were actually on sale today. Clancy picked up one of these for winter. He used to have one and we can't figure out where it went. So he now has another balaclava because it's so much easier when you go outside to walk or anything when your face isn't freezing off. Ice cream. We have yellow sugar. I really prefer brown sugar, but Costco never carries the brown, it only carries the yellow. So yellow will have to do. Clancy grabbed, sorry, matzo sticks. We have a big old bag of russet potatoes, a case of KD for the kids. This is a favorite jam at our house. It kind of reminds me of the jam from Knott's Berry Farm. It's just so good. Here's the rest of my butter. Grapeseed oil. If you've watched my other Costco vlogs, it feels like we're going through one of these jugs every two weeks, which is actually quite a lot. Trying to use a healthier oil because it's better for our hearts and our arteries and all of that stuff, but it's costing a lot to do that. A huge container of canola oil is definitely a lot more affordable, but I don't want to use oils like that. We picked up Italian seasoning. I've been needing it for a while. I've been making my own because we don't have any. We ran out a little while ago, and this one is a really good one. I actually prefer this over the regular grocery store brand that I picked up the last couple of times. This one seems to have something else in it that just is a little added flavor. Lemon juice, because we go through it quite quickly. A big case of diced tomatoes for making my pasta sauce and things like that. The girls' special panda snacks. Another big thing of powdered creamer. Kieran has kind of switched over to using this and Clancy uses it too, so they've started going through it a little bit faster. And a big jug of sunlight soap, dish soap. I tried a special dish soap from Costco that has coconut oil and things like that in it. We don't know if it's the hard water here or what causes it, but you lose the bubbles really, really fast. And it just doesn't have the same, same cleaning properties that it used to. And we don't know if it's the soap that we bought or if it's something going on with our water. So we're going to try the sunlight soap, see if that's any better. And I think that is everything that we bought today. Pretty big haul for us. We don't usually do hauls quite this big. And I'm gonna look at my huge receipt here. And our total was 624.51. And it's all there. There's actually a pair of gloves that Clancy bought too, and it's not here. But this is our ginormous haul, and now it's time to go and take care of it. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you like Costco vlogs, we have quite a few more. If you're interested in Panama vlogs, you can check that playlist. And then we have our regular family vlogs. Thanks so much for hanging out and for watching us today.